There's so many things that could go wrong. Eaten by a shark. <laughs> Pete came up with his second wacky idea. It's impossible. However, everybody else was a little bit over ambitious and thought this was really easy. Pete phoned me up and said, I had another brilliant idea for a project. It was this idea of 3D printing a boat and selling it across the channel to get a world record. I, I wouldn't say that I worked in the marine industry. <laughs> I'd say I'm familiar with some marine projects. So I said, yeah, I'm in. None of us really know how to build a boat. <laughs> and uh, it kind of evolved from there, really. <laughs> Four years ago, we put a Superman action figure into space. And that's when I first met the guys um, who've been helping us on this project. So the guys down at the Reading Hack Space, so Ryan and Richard and Gary and Alex. And it was such a fun project. It was really good. It was really good for inspiring young engineers and it was a really crazy project and we had a great time with it. And then everyone kept talking about the project and how cool it was and I thought, you know what, it's time to do something different. Let's do something else. The light bulb moment for Sequest came to me whilst having a conversation with a colleague in the kitchen at work. Do you know we know more about outer space than we do our own oceans down here on planet Earth? And that got me thinking, let's do something on the sea. Around the same time, I was really starting to get into 3D printing. And with that, the idea of Sequest was born. He then told me it was a boat project, and I said, well, I don't know anything about boats. And there isn't an instruction book online for building model boats that cross the ocean. I've been messing about with 3D printing for a number of years now, and most of the team are actually quite experienced in it. But none of us have actually created anything on the magnitude of a 3D printed boat that's capable of crossing the sea. So Design Spark has been a big part of this whole project. Uh, Design Spark is our engineering community of over 750,000 design engineers around the world. And this kind of inspirational project, which shows design in action and rapid prototyping and, and, and using various different techniques and products, you know, it is what the community is all about. And this is a great thing about prototyping is that you don't have to know the subject area, you just have to have good relationships with, with good people. You know, I think sometimes you just get this serendipitous arrangement where you have all the right people in the right place. And sometimes we love each other and sometimes we hate each other. <laughs> There's a balance. So the first meeting was down the pub and uh, where all good meetings start and we got everyone together and we just talked about all the possibilities that we could do in a very, very high level and how we might approach it. And from that, we had a rough idea of how we were going to move forward. I guess if you look at it, there are three big things that we need to try and tackle. And, and the first of all is, is the boat design. So we, we need to build a boat that is capable of crossing uh, the English Channel. Uh, the second one is uh, we want it to be autonomous. Okay, So we need to make sure that we um, can create a boat design with the electronics on board that allow us to basically program it up on the beach and then send it on its way and off it goes and we follow it and it lands on the other side uh, of the channel on the French beach. So we need to get permission from the French Coast Guard. So that um, will be something we need to tackle and get that kind of nailed down early on. So uh, we'll see how we get on. 